A paleontologist is a scientist who studies dead organisms. So for instance, um, there are paleontologists who study plants, who are called paleobotanists, and there are paleontologists who study things like mollusks or trilobites that are invertebrates, who are invertebrate paleontologists. There are even paleontologists who study single-celled organisms that are very, very tiny, and they call themselves micropaleontologists studying like amoebas and algae and things like that. And then there are paleontologists who study animals that have backbones, or at least precursors to backbones made of cartilage, um, and we're vertebrate paleontologists. My favorite dinosaur is chicken. I like barbecue wings, I like eggs, I like chicken tenders on sticks with some, uh, some peanut sauce on them. You know, I went on vacation to Indonesia and I went on a tour of the island of Komodo when you hike around and the guide says, well, what animals do you want to see? And I said, I really want to see wild chickens. And we did see wild chickens in the forest in Indonesia, uh, but I think the guide thought it was a little weird. All living birds are dinosaurs and they're very similar to dinosaurs uh, in a lot of ways. Um, you know, the big dinosaurs, but they're, but they're smaller and probably tastier. And this is from the tail of the giant sauropod dinosaur Apatosaurus. And this is maybe 20 vertebrae down the tail. The um, dinosaur's tail muscles attach up here um, and on the sides right there. And this is an animal that had a very thick, a long tail. Um, and it's pretty remarkable, this vertebra, um, in that it's hollow. So just like birds, including chickens, dinosaurs have hollow bones. And this was filled with air. You can actually kind of stick your finger in there and uh, there's an the airspace in there still. And then part of it is filled up with uh, with mud and rock, um, but this is pretty far down the tail for an animal to have a bone that is filled with air.